welcome to the August edition of The Daisy Chain. In this month's edition, we are talking all things Year 6 exhibition. And with me, I have Isabel and I have Allegra, who are going to reflect on the process of exhibition. Tell us about your exhibition and what you researched. Um, my exhibition is about the Australian healthcare system. And I've researched about the problems that people can have um, when trying to enter. Mm. Uh, I've also tried to compare the public and private healthcare system and um, ways that we can improve the healthcare system for people with a disability. Beautiful, so you're talking a lot about accessibility there. Yeah. And what did you find out? Um, I sort of found out that a lot of people that are living in rural or remote areas actually have a fair bit more difficulty than mm. us trying to like get to a hospital or doctors. Yeah. And what was your, your biggest takeaways from your research? I actually think that like even though a lot of people think that the Australian healthcare system is really quite good, there is still like a lot there's still a fair bit of improvement. Oh, so like everything we've got improvements to make. Yeah. Now sitting alongside our girls research is also an art presentation so Allegra talk us through your art presentation um, that you've got. This is my art piece and on this side we just have an like everyday average person mm. and on this side we have people with a disability and these stairs here represent like everyday struggles in life and how um, and how it's for an average person even though they may be difficult it's still achievable mm. and for somebody with a disability they're achievable but they might need a lot more help and can be a lot more difficult. Yeah so the support is needed yeah. um, with people with disabilities and also that steeper climb yeah. for them so you've really started to portray that differences and the inequity in our healthcare system. I love that, very abstract but beautiful. I love that art piece. And Isabel, what has your exhibition been about? My exhibition has been about inflation. It's a big topic at the moment. Why did you choose that as a topic? Well, I chose it because there's been a lot of media around the cost of living crisis. Mm -hmm. And what have you learnt about the cost of living crisis? I've learnt a lot about how the RBA are trying to use interest rates to help stop inflation and mm -hmm. lower all the prices back down. They did and you had a chance to interview people as part of your exhibition research. Who did you reach out to? I reached out to Mr Chris Cruther who's the local state government representative for Mornington. And what were your key takeaways from the information he presented to you? Well mostly the how the RBA are trying to enforce rules and giving out benefits to uh -huh. help people deal with inflation. Yeah, and talk to us about your art piece that we can see here. So, as you can see, I have a blimp and people trying to shoot down the blimp. The blimp represents inflation and these people represent the RBA and how they're trying to get the cost of living down. Well, really great topics, girls, and I know that exhibition was such a success last week. And Allegra, from the sessions that you do with Mrs. Kendall in Project Ignite, what aspects of the learning that you've done in those sessions did you bring in to exhibition? I used a lot of my the note taking methods that we use that we learnt to um, research. Beautiful, and the presentations were fantastic. We loved seeing the confidence come through with all of our girls presenting in this fabulous forum as well, and our audience absolutely loved it. Well. Congratulations girls on a fantastic exhibition. We could not be prouder of you and the way that you've spoken about your research is clearly a testament to your research and the actions that you've got taking forward from here. And still to come in term three, don't forget we've got the dance project. Be sure to get your tickets there for the Frankston Arts Centre and also Wardle House Footy Day. We can't wait for those events. Thank you girls for joining us. See you later everybody.